It's Lucy's birthday today. She ordered a cake. But unfortunately, the delivery guy brought the wrong one. Lucy goes to the pastry shop herself and asks to replace the cake. There are three cakes left in the fridge. Can you find the correct one? The first cake has a bride and groom figurine on top, so it's probably a wedding cake. The second cake is meant for another customer named Mary. Therefore, the third one belongs to Lucy. Lucy takes the cake and heads home. She's passing by an Italian restaurant. Can you spot a vampire hunter among these people? It's this chef with a garlic necklace. Finally, Lucy returns home. Some of her guests are already here. Her sister Stella, her college friend Anna, and her colleague Jessica. Lucy asks them to iron her new party dress and rushes to the shower to freshen up. Then she returns to the guests. The dress is perfectly ironed, but there's a huge blue stain on it. Can you figure out who put the stain on her dress? It was Jessica. She has blue ink on her hands because her pen was leaking. Lucy goes to her bedroom to find a new outfit for her party. Then she returns to the kitchen to check on the cake in the fridge. Oh no! Someone has bitten it! Lucy hasn't even blown the candles yet. Who's guilty? Take a look at the crime scene. There's a used fork with some red lipstick on it. Anna is the only one who's wearing red lipstick. The mystery is solved. Lucy gives Anna a postcard with the following text. Can you decode this rebus? You are under arrest. It's time to unwrap the gifts. Lucy's guests say, you have to crack our riddles to get the gifts. Riddle one, I get shorter the more I'm used, but I'm not a pencil. I'm made of wax, but I'm not a crayon. I can help you see in the dark, but I'm not a flashlight. I'm often found on a birthday cake, but I'm not icing. What am I? I'm a candle! Lucy gets her first gift from Stella. The guys go ahead and invite Lucy to crack the next riddle. I can pop, but I'm not popcorn. Sometimes I have a string attached, but I'm not a kite. Sometimes I float, but I'm not a swimmer. I'm seen at birthday parties, but I'm not a candle. What am I? I'm a balloon! Lucy gets a bunch of balloons from Jessica. To get the third gift, Lucy needs to solve the following riddle. I bake, I rest, I come in different shapes, and I sometimes live with a flame on top of my head. What am I? I'm a cake! Suddenly, someone rings the doorbell. Lucy opens the door and sees three people in carnival masks. Two of them are late guests of Lucy, but one of them is an imposter. Can you guess who? It's the person in the middle. He doesn't have any feet, and he's floating in the air. This guy must be a ghost! Lucy returns to the kitchen. Oh no! Someone popped the balloons! Let's have a look around. Jessica is trying to get rid of a stain on her clothes. 
Stella is lighting a candle, and Anna is finishing her pizza sitting right next to the balloons. Who's guilty? Anna is wearing a dress with spikes. They must have poked some holes in the balloons. It's time to blow out the candles. Lucy pours tea for all the guests. Then she leaves the table to have a brief phone call. Lucy returns and takes a sip of tea from her cup. Yikes, it's very salty. Lucy interrogates three people around the table. Stella says, I didn't touch your cup. I was busy taking a selfie. Anna says, I was cutting fruit, only your sister is capable of such a silly prank. And Jessica says, I was in the bathroom, so I didn't see what was happening at the table. Who's lying? Anna, look! She's hiding the salt shaker in her dress. Anna admits that she was trying to destroy the party. She's turning 22 today, but everyone forgot about her birthday. Lucy wants to make amends. Take a look around and try to find a possible gift for Anna. Hey, Lucy's birthday cake still has unlit candles in the shape of numbers 2 and 5. Lucy can turn the five upside down, make the candles look like 22, and present them to Anna. Luckily, Anna forgives Lucy. Some of the guests start dancing. Suddenly, the light goes off for a second and then comes back on. Stella screams, someone stole one of my diamond earrings. She questions three suspects. Lucy's boyfriend, Bill, says, I was trying to film a TikTok dance when the lights went out. Anna says, I'm afraid of the dark, so I just landed on the sofa. Lucy's co-worker Oliver says, I wanted to ask Stella to dance, but suddenly it became dark, so I just froze. Who stole the earring? No one, it just fell under this chair. Lucy decides to take some party pictures. Can you find three differences between these two pictures? Here they are. Let's see if you can find three differences between these pictures. Over here. Let's make the task a little harder. Can you spot five differences between these images? Here they are. Bill is an artist. He gives Lucy his painting as a birthday gift. What's wrong here? There's no river. Can you help Lucy distribute these party hats among her guests? Stella loves the color yellow, but she's not fond of green. Oliver doesn't like the color purple and stripes. Anna is allergic to flowers, but she loves stars. Jessica doesn't like the color yellow, and Bill is not fond of orange decor. The first hat is for Jessica, and the second one is for Stella. Anna should get the third hat, Bill the fourth one. And finally, the fifth hat is perfect for Oliver. Lucy and her guests run out of food, but they're still hungry. There's a pizza restaurant just next to Lucy's place. Bill decides to go there. He rushes over and bumps into another customer. Bill hits his head and forgets what pizza Lucy asked him to buy. He remembers just three things. The pizza topping shouldn't include more than four colors. It shouldn't have any onions. 
but it must have at least one green element. Can you help Bill find the correct pizza? Four cheese pizza and margarita don't have any greenish elements, so we can exclude them. Mushroom pizza does have green olives, but it also has onions, as well as pineapple and jalapeno pizza. Goodbye! Only pepperoni pizza is in line with the assignment. Suddenly, Lucy hears someone ringing on the door. She opens and faces two dudes. They introduce themselves briefly. Peter says, I'm the nephew of your next door neighbor, Glenda. She sent me here to borrow a cup of sugar from Lucy. And Rick says, I'm a delivery guy. Here's a birthday gift. Can you guess who the prankster is? It's Rick. He doesn't know Lucy's name, which is weird for a delivery guy. I wouldn't risk opening this box. Lucy exposes Rick and returns to the kitchen. She discovers that someone has broken her favorite vase. Lucy interrogates three suspects. Bill says, I was in the bathroom. I just returned and noticed the broken vase. Stella says, I put roses in this vase about an hour ago, and I haven't approached it since. And Jessica says, I was dancing in the living room. About five minutes ago, I heard the sound of breaking glass from the kitchen. Who's lying? Stella, take a closer look at the broken vase. No roses, only daisies. Audrey lives alone in a condo in Boston. She wakes up in the middle of the night because of the loud music coming from one of her neighbor's apartments. She doesn't know exactly which apartment it comes from. So the next morning, Audrey asks her three neighbors what they were doing the night before. Molly says, I've been playing video games in my headphones all night long, so I didn't hear anything. Peter says, I was on a plane getting back from Paris. I just returned home a couple of minutes ago after two months in France. And Nina says, I was sleeping after a long shift at work. After hearing their stories, Audrey knows for sure who's a liar. What about you? It's Peter. He said he just returned from France, but look at his table. There are fresh apples lying there. If he had been gone for a month, they would have been rotten by now. Oh. Audrey checks her mailbox. Oh no! Bad news! The building where she rents her apartment is about to be demolished. She has only a week to find a new place and move out. Audrey starts searching online, but unfortunately, she forgot the password for her rental website account. She only remembers that this word is a tasty and sweet fruit that can give you a lot of energy. And you can also find it in your calendar. Can you crack the code? The correct password is DATE. Yes! Audrey logs in and scrolls through a bunch of rental listings. Finally, she finds three options. Can you help her choose the best apartment? According to the description, the first apartment was built in 1023. Wow, it must be very ancient. Boston didn't even exist then. It's probably a scam. Take a closer look at the couch in the third apartment. Can you see bed bugs? Ew! These nasty guys are not the best roommates. So, Audrey should pick the second apartment. Okay. Audrey books this new apartment, but unfortunately, she doesn't have enough savings to provide the requested deposit. She decides to take part in a game show. The winner will get $50,000. Audrey is doing pretty well, and finally, it's time for the last task. Audrey has to put her head in one of these three boxes. There are sparking electrical wires in the first one. There's a Venus flytrap in the second box. It's a carnivorous plant. 
and there are dozens of venomous scorpions in the third box. Can you help Audrey win the prize and stay safe? Audrey should choose the second box. Venus flytraps aren't dangerous for people, only for flies. Yay! Audrey wins the money. Now it's time to pack her boxes and move. Can you spot three emojis among her stuff? Here they are. Audrey goes to her favorite coffee shop to have a break. Let's see if you can find three emojis in this location. Hello? Audrey is exploring her new neighborhood. Suddenly, she sees something curious. Ah. It always runs, but it never walks. What is it? It's a river. David is Audrey's new neighbor. He agrees to help her move. But first, they need to pick up David's son from college. On their way there, David gets an idea. How about a bet? I'll give you my super expensive carpet if you manage to figure out which student is my son. Okay. Audrey agrees. They arrive at the college and see three guys waiting at the gates. They all look similar. Can you spot David's son? It's the student on the left. David has the letter L tattooed on his wrist, and the guy is wearing a bracelet with the same letter. Audrey wants to sell her old sofa. She finds three potential buyers online. The first one writes, Hi, I'm Jessica. I'll buy your sofa and remove it tomorrow morning. But first, I'm going to need your phone number and to make sure you're not a scammer. The second one writes, Hi, I'm Mike. Nice sofa. But the price is a bit higher than I was hoping. Can you make a $100 discount? And Sheila says, This sofa is perfect for my studio, but I'm abroad at the moment. Can we postpone the delivery for next week? Can you help Audrey choose the best buyer? The first buyer introduces herself as Jessica, but her username and picture don't really match. Moreover, it's a bad idea to reveal your phone number to strangers online. As for Mike, his proposal to lower the price is ridiculous because Audrey is selling the sofa for $100 only. Thus, Sheila is the best choice. Ooh. The next morning, Audrey wakes up in her new apartment. The boxes are still unpacked, but Audrey wants to brew some coffee. Her coffee machine is in one of these three boxes. The note on the first box says that the coffee machine isn't in box two. The note on the second box says the machine is in box one or three. And the note on the third box says that the coffee machine isn't here. Can you help Audrey choose the right box? If the coffee machine isn't in the second box, it's either in the first or the third box. But the note on box three says the machine isn't there, so it must be in the first box. And now Audrey's task is to find one important thing. It has one eye but still cannot see. What is it? It's a needle. Here's what Audrey is looking for now. It's a protector and it sits on a bridge. One individual can see directly through it while others wonder what it hides. What is she looking for? Sunglasses. We meant the nasal bridge. <laughs> 
Can you spot three emojis in Audrey's kitchen? Here they are. Audrey goes to the laundry room in the basement of the building. She gets lost and comes across three doors leading outside the trap. Behind the first door, there's a room full of poisonous bees that could make people lose their mind. Behind the second door, there's a room without oxygen. And there's a room full of unfriendly monsters behind the third door. Which way is more or less safe? The room without oxygen seems the most promising option. Audrey can hold her breath and quickly walk through the room. Audrey is about to leave the basement, but she comes across an anxious neighbor who says, I just saw a crocodile and it ran into the boiler room. Audrey goes there to check, but nobody's there. How did the croc escape? This way. Audrey returns to her place. She scrolls her feed and sees these two photos. One of these ladies is a robot. Can you guess who? This lady on the left has an engine oil canister in the bathroom, but it doesn't prove that she's a robot. Meanwhile, the person in the toilet stall has strange wires in unexpected places. So she's the robot. Audrey goes to the furniture store. There, she sees a group of customers, but it's not that simple. One of them is a werewolf. Can you guess who? It's the third lady. Her claws pierced her gloves. She's transforming into a werewolf. Audrey goes to the local food court and purchases a cup of coffee and a strawberry donut. She leaves a tray with her order on a table and leaves for a moment to tip the waiter. Then she returns to find out that her food is gone. Audrey questions three people standing nearby. The cleaner says, I was about to throw away your tray, but then I noticed that the food was untouched, so I left it alone. The manager says, Sorry, miss. It's not my job to guard the tables. And a customer sitting next to Audrey says, Ew, gross. I would never touch someone else's food. What if you're sick? Who's lying? The manager. You can see donut sprinkles on his face. Busted! <laughs>